Congresswoman Maxine Waters is leading the Democratic charge this fall. Her weapon of choice is rage. In a speech last weekend, she vowed that Democrats would impeach not simply President Trump, but once they finish doing that, Vice President Mike Pence as well. Watch. This deplorable, despicable human being that occupies the White House should not be there. We, they say, Maxine, please don't say impeachment anymore. And when they say that, I say impeachment, 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 impeachment. When someone asks, but what about Pence? If you were able to impeach, Pence will be worse. And I said, look, one at a time. If you knock one down and then we'll be ready for Pence, we'll get him too. Keep in mind, if Democrats win in two months, Maxine Waters will be a committee chairman. Mark Penn was a pollster and strategist for Bill Clinton, and he joins us tonight. So, Mark, you are, I mean, you spent a lot of time thinking about messages. Who's in charge of the Democratic message, do you think? Well, that's a good question. There doesn't seem to be either a Democratic message or particularly a Republican message as we go into this. Yes. Other than, you know, Trump's, Trump's no good and we've got to put guardrails on him. And the, the, the Democrats have moved too far to the left and want to impeach him. That's what passes for a serious message today. If you're the Democrats, though, wouldn't you look at the last election and say, let's see, a lot of former Democrats voted for Trump because they felt left behind by the economy. Maybe we should try to win their votes back. No one seems to be doing that. Why? Well, look, I, I think that this is going on on individual races. Maxine Waters is talking to Democratic base, voters who are 90 percent going to vote, you know, for the Democratic column, and she's tr trying to stimulate turnout. That's not what's happening in real swing districts, where I think there's a battle between the candidates. There's a battle over the health care issue that the Democrats, I think, won right. handily. Uh, and so I think they put that front and center. There's some serious issue debates out there. We just don't really see them because they don't make news. Does it, it seems to me that if you're, you know, watching at home and there's a congressional race, and there is where you live, you look at Maxine Waters and you think, boy, I don't want anything to do with the party that puts her forward as a spokesman. I mean, is that counterproductive, do you think, since we now have television and we can all see what she's saying? Well, Maxine Waters is counterproductive for the overall Democratic message, but she's not a key Democratic leader. In fact, the Republican leaders, McConnell and Ryan, Ryan has quit, but then he didn't leave. McConnell is intensely right. disliked. If, if you look at Schumer and Pelosi within the party, they actually have the support of Democrats in terms of what they want to do. Republicans right now have no leader outside of President Trump. No, that is absolutely true. Republicans do not like Paul Ryan, I would say, by and large. Who's going to be the speaker if Democrats win? Uh, well, look, I think Pelosi probably will win in the first instance, but I don't think she'll, she'll continue to serve. I think then there will be a struggle behind the scenes. I think there's a problem solvers group that is looking to have some influence, if it's close, in terms of changing the rules and naming the speaker. Because remember, the speaker technically has to be elected by a majority vote of the House, not the majority vote of a caucus. So you think Pelosi will get, if the Democrats win, Pelosi will be elected speaker but then not serve? Uh, uh, look, I don't think she's going to serve through to the next election. Uh, my suspicion oh, would okay. be she would get elected because she won, she turned the House. But, but between then and the next election, there, there'd be a new speaker. I think that the Democratic Party is looking, is looking to have new blood and new leadership. The question is where and who? The last question, I mean, there are a bunch of adults I, in the Democratic Party. I know them. They live near me. They seem afraid of the net roots of Democratic activists online who are way out to the left from where they traditionally have been. Do they have the power and the will to stand up to those constituencies and say, no, I'm sorry, we're not making this Venezuela, you know, no. Or are they well, some, too intimidated? Some do and some don't. I mean, remember that because of the caucuses in the Democratic primaries, the activists have outsized power compared to the run-of-the-mill voter in big states, which right. is really most Democratic voters. And so you see embarrassing performances like Senator Cory Booker playing for the presidential race. But I think you look at what Joe Biden is doing, and he tends to be pitching to the responsible center. So far, he's got the best message and shown the greatest responsibility out there on the stump. Yeah. Mark Penn, great to see you. Thank you very much for that.